So this week we're asking the question, what does your Sunday look like? So today I've got a wedding to perform. I'm getting ready to head over there, but I want to make sure to answer this coming week's question. So for all you vlog pastors, what do your Sundays look like? Now, of course, you guys are watching this on Sunday morning and I'm recording this right here on Saturday afternoon. So in order for me to show you what my Sunday looks like, we've actually got to rewind seven days. So here we go. Now, the first part about my Sunday is actually getting out of bed, getting a shower, getting trimmed up, getting dressed, and then getting all of my gear together. Because as a vlog pastor, I got more to take than just my Bible. And then what he tells us is to love on people the way that he's loved. By this will the world know that you're my disciples. Because of your love. Not because of your giving. Not because of your church attendance. Not because of raising your hands during worship. Not because you were dunked in water. Not because you put a little cracker on your tongue. None of that stuff is how the world is going to know you're his disciple. It's by your love for another person. Okay, so we're all wrapped up here at church. I got to put some things away. We're going to hit the road. I got to get back home. I've got a vlog coming out today. So I've got to finish up the thumbnail, edit and post the sermon online, make sure I've got all of the social media for the next couple weeks scheduled out. I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, I got to eat. All right, so back from church, I'm going to hop on the computer here in a little bit. I'll probably save the sermon for a little bit later after I get some food, but what I need to do now is I actually need to schedule out some of our social media posts. I try to do it once a month, and with this being at the beginning of the month, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of stockpile them and schedule them out. So that's kind of what the plan is. It is a time-consuming thing, but I found it's a lot easier for me if I just kind of do all of it at once. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. So here's to like 30 some posts all at once. Oh, and by the way, just in case anybody was wondering, I use Sunday Social for our church. Uh, we've got a subscription, so that's where we get all the graphics and, and kind of the, the timeline calendar. And then I use Later to actually schedule everything. Later's on the free plan, Sunday Social. I have no idea what we're paying for a month, maybe $10, $15, something like that. But it's worth it in my opinion, so that way I don't have to do a lot of the creative elements when I'm using the creative side of me in other ways like this. All right, so uh, about 4.30 or so, getting ready to eat. Got some almond milk here, gonna have some late breakfast although i typically only eat like one big meal a day and the rest i just practice intermittent fasting so this is my keto power breakfast pancakes omelet and sausage Ugh. okay so i ate way too much yeah that's, that's absolutely true, way too much. Anyways, got just a few minutes here. I need to go ahead and get the sermon copied over, take it off the memory card, put it onto the computer, transfer it into Adobe Audition, trim off the front and the back, drop it down into the match loudness, set it for negative 16 luffs, export it with all the metadata, upload it to Anchor, which by the way, if you're a church and you're looking for a way of doing podcasting for free, I do highly recommend Anchor. It is free and it's easy and it's free and it's simple to use and it's free. That's what we use. Actually, I've used that for the digital ministry podcast, which I need to get some episodes on that. I use it for the vlog pastors podcast. Ooh, did I upload last week's? For our church sermon podcast and even when I was working over at Developing Great Relationships, that's what I use to set up their podcast. So it works and it's easy. And did I mention it's free? 
Okay, so I've got all that finished up. Social media is done, sermons done, food is in my belly, kids are taken care of, Jen is cleaning a little bit. I think what I need to do with my next few minutes before I call it a night is I need to actually double check what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks as far as the sermon calendar goes. It needs a slight modification because when I had done my preaching calendar for earlier in the year, it was before the pandemic, before the quarantine, before the sequestering, before the isolation hit, and that just adds a few extra variables that I want to consider going into the fall. Things that I didn't think about before that I probably should think about now. This is kind of what my Sunday normally looks like. It is waking up in the morning, getting ready, getting a shower, doing some prayer while I'm in the shower. Not the normal singing that I would like to do. Heading to church, doing some last minute prep, setting up all the AV equipment uh, for this preaching the message, ministering to people while we can, making sure that I'm there afterwards to kind of chat with anybody that would need it or want it, then heading back home, doing some computer work, social media stuff for the church, getting some food, doing a little bit of advanced looking and prep while my brain's still firing, mostly on all cylinders, and then I try to kind of wrap things up, if at all possible, around seven o'clock, usually. Makes for a long day. But I think I'm at my peak if I've taken Saturday off and I've actually rested the way that I want to and the way that I think I should. And then come Sunday, I'm at full capacity and I'm raring to go. Now, I'm sure that these Sundays are going to vary widely. And you know what the neat part about this is? We get a whole week of Sunday perspectives. So this is going to be a fun week for me to look at everybody else is doing it. So there you go. Make sure you check the other guys out. Links in the description, like always. And you can also check out the entire Vlogpaster Season 3 playlist right there. Catch up on all of your favorites or the ones that you missed. And so that's all I've got for you. So until next time, stay blessed. Enjoy God's best. What was I done? And... Man, I lost my train of thought. <laughs>